before, we're just going to get rocking. I'm going to go through the seven exercises. We'll do a little warm up, and we're just going to get rocking. It's just me and Justin today. So, yeah, first remember, guys, I'm doing level one, low impact version, and then yep. we do in the normal, and he's going to verbally tell you level three. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you all some of the advancements, but I'm going to do level two. So, like always, pin the video you need, um, switch back and forth, whatever you got to do. So, exercise number one, we're going to do low scissor hops forward to backward. I don't have that much room anymore, so you're just doing more of them. So you're staying low, you wanna get on the toes, and you're chopping, staying low, staying low. We want time under tension, all the way down, all the way forward. If you need to step like this for level one, that's perfectly fine. Obviously, the faster you go, the harder it's gonna be. Exercise number two, we're gonna do some corrective exercise stuff. We're gonna do a hinge. So a couple ways you can do the hinge. Justin's going to go double-legged or staggered stance, or to advance it up, you can hinge single leg, take these arms, you're going to row, so I want you squeezing the traps or squeezing the scapula, rotate, extend, back, back, down. So if you want to really advance it up, you can stay one side for half of it and then switch to the other, or you just alternate. So go left foot, row, rotate, extend. You wanna be hip hinging all the way out. Focus on your balance, focus on keeping the hips and the shoulders square. That's a great one to really work on the rotator cuffs, fix your shoulders up. Next one, we're going down to the ground and we're doing plank reaches. So Justin will be going from the knees. I'll be doing a high plank. And what you're doing is you're reaching out, tap, tap. So you got to use those anti-rotational muscles. We don't want to look like this, reaching. You want to stay flat as a board and tap. To advance it up, hold that out there for a second. So just hold, tap, hold it, tap. Focus on squeezing the core. Make the most out of the exercise. Exercise number three, we're doing lateral hops to a shrimp squat. So again, I don't have that much room. Make the most of what you got. We're gonna lateral hop. Advance is gonna be staying on the one foot the whole time. Don't tap it back, up, and then back. To regress it for level one, you're just doing a lunge. Boom, maybe catch yourself on two, and then lunge. The longer you're on one foot, the harder it's gonna be. So step, catch, lunge, or hop, shrimp squat, and try to tap this knee and back up. Excellent. Next, we're going to do a new movement. It's going to be a half plank, half push up. So if you need to go from the knees, that's fine. But I'll show you from this angle. So we're going half and half. So you're in, one is in a plank, one is in a push up. And you're going to come down. So you're doing a tricep up on one side, and the other one is a push up. So maybe go a little bit wider with this push-up. This is right in, right below the shoulder. Boom. So go weak arm first with that single arm plank and then put the stronger arm out and at 20 to 22, we'll switch sides. Same thing as those reach outs. Stay square, you gotta engage the core. It's secondary core exercise, but we're really trying to get some isolated tricep work and some pressing. Exercise number three, We've got a bird dog crunch here. A couple ways you can do it. You can go from the knees, here, in, out, in. Make sure you extend. You guys have done bird dogs. Extend, squeeze the glute, but yet stay square. So you're not rotating. You gotta squeeze all the way through. Bring it in, squeeze, hold. If you really want to advance it up, this will be like level three and a half. You're gonna go in the bear hole, and you're gonna go here. So you'll stay up, make sure shoulders, elbows, wrists are in alignment. You don't want to be out here. You want to be right on top in that bare position. Last exercise is going to be a traveling mountain climber. So again, I don't have that much room. You got to make do with what you got. So we're going here. Traveling mountain climber, back and forth, back and forth. Same thing as the previous exercise. Keep these hands under the shoulders. You don't want them out right here. So you're over, it's gonna save the shoulders, save the wrist. Cool, so let's rock. We're gonna do a quick warm up. 
what I'm going to have y'all do, we're going to do a deep squat. So deep squat, elbows out. We're going to do rotate, rotate up to the ceiling on the toes. So we're dynamically moving here. We're not just statically staying in it. Try to get those heels on the ground in this deep squat. We'll do a couple more. This is a great one too. If you have some weights at home on your own time, take that weight and try to sit deeper in this squat. Great one I've been trying to do with the kettlebells. Let's go one more. Boom, all right. Next, we're gonna go lunge, lunge, scoop the hips forward into a hamstring stretch. Forward, hamstring. Another dynamic one, this could easily be done as a static stretch, but we're going dynamic today just to get warm before the workout. We'll go two, finish it out. One, switch the sides, lunge, stretch the hammy. As always, turn on the tunes, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna have my timer here letting me know, and you guys will hear it ring like usual. Let's go one more. Go ahead, stand up, and we're just gonna do three inchworms into a cobra, back up, we'll get rocking. So inchworm, cobra, up tall. Only doing three here, so make the most. Last one. Boom, all right. Stretch it out, get some water. We're gonna get started in just a second. Remember, I'll be level two, Justin will be level one, and I'll be hollering out the advanced, advanced modification. So exercise number one, we're doing those low scissor hops. The faster, the better. Stay low the whole time. We're gonna get started. I'll count you down in three, two, one. Let's do it. Humping the arms, choppy feet. Try to stay on the toes and stay low. It's cardio. We want to go fast. Good job. Breathe. Woo. Stay low. Feet shoulder width. Good job. We got 10 seconds on the clock. We go for five, four, Three, two, excellent. Catch that breath. Next, we've got that hinge. Remember, hinge, row, rotate out. Soft bend in the knee. We're going three, two, one. Single leg is advanced. You've got to make the contraction happen in your back and in your shoulders. Good job. We got five more seconds. Try to even out. Three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to the ground and we're going to those plank reaches. If you've got to go to the knees, that's fine. Just make sure you're staying square. You can still reach out and hold. The longer the hold, the harder it is. Three, two, one. Everything else is still except for that hand moving. So you are concrete still with a reach out.
the wider base of your feet, the more it's gonna help you balance. And on this plank, make sure you're opening up your hands nice and wide to distribute your body weight. We got under 10 seconds. Here we go for five, four, three, two. Y'all breathe, relax. Next one, we're gonna pop back up, shake it out, stretch those wrists out a little bit. We're doing the lateral hop into that shrimp squat. Bunch of different ways you can do it. If you got a step, do the step. If you can hop, do the hop. Stick the landing. If you've got a tap lightly in the back, that's fine. Excellent work, working on athleticism, as well as strength here. Strengthen those knees and ankles for whatever life's throwing at you. We got 10 more seconds, y'all, keep moving. Here we go for three, two, nice work. We're going back down to the ground for that half push-up, half plank. Remember, let's go weak arm is down in the plank and we're pressing up. Three, two, one, here we go. I'll let you know when we're switching to halfway. Three, two, one, switch it up. Ten seconds. Control your breathing. Keep that core tight. We go for five, four, three, two. Excellent. Bird dog next. Bird dog with the crunch. Remember, advanced advance is going to be in that bear hold. Regular will be from the knees. Remember, we're kicking all the way back, extending as far as we can. We're alternating each time. If you feel like you can advance it up, go for it. Just make sure you're staying square with the shoulders and the hips. No rotation. 15 more seconds, come on. Here we go for five, four, three, two. Relax. We're staying on the ground. Shake out the wrists, shake out. Try to keep the blood flowing. We have traveling mountain climbers next, and then we're gonna catch a break. Three, two, let's boogie. Remember the faster you go, the harder it is. Excellent work. We got 20 seconds for this round. Ten seconds. Come on. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Catch your breath. Good work, y'all. Nicely done, y'all. That's a lot of shoulders. Yeah, that's tough on the shoulders and the core. Yeah. Remember, y'all, if you need to at any point during this, especially like doing those traveling mountain climbers at the end, you need to stop and take a break. Yeah. In that 45-second time window, please do that. Yeah, do what you got to do. If you want to break it up like 20 and 20, do what you got to do. Because that's Ooh. a lot of uh, – we're, we're in a plank position for – 
about half of these moves. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Be afraid to uh, give your shoulders a break when you need it. Definitely. How we're gonna get rocking here. Round two is gonna be in just over 10 seconds. We're starting with that scissor hop. So remember we wanna stay low and try to stay on the toes. Round two starting, three, two, boom, we're on. Move the arms, move the feet. Try to stay low. Twenty seconds. His cardio is supposed to be tough. Hang on, five, four, three, two, good. Catch that breath. You got the hip hinge, single leg, more difficult. We're going three, two, one, hip hinge, row, rotate, extend, and then back. Row, rotate. This one is not a speed one. Slow it down and make the most of it. Ten seconds. Three, two, good. Next one, we have plank reaches. We're going to the plank position again, shake it out. Again, like Justin said, if y'all gotta catch a break, do what you have to do. We do have a lot of planking in this. Let's rock. No rotating. Over halfway. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Excellent. Pop on up, shake it out. Really testing the core today. We have those lateral hops to the shrimp squat. Remember, if you got a step and lunge, that's fine. Just make it count. Boom, we're off. Hop. If you want to hop and still do a lunge, that's fine. Do whatever you feel like is giving you the best bang for the buck. Over halfway. Five, four, three, two, relax. All right, we're popping to the ground. We've got those half plank with the push up. Remember, weak side first, catch a break if you need it. Three, two, one, let's boogie. On that plank push up side, you want that elbow facing in the direction of your shoes, pointing at your shoes when it's coming down. Go ahead, switch it up in three. Two, one, switch up.
Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. We're staying down. Go ahead, shake it off for me real quick. We've got those bird dogs next. Really extend the hand and extend the foot. Make the squeezes count. Three, two, boom, let's do it. This one's not about the speed. It's about the contractions and the stabilization. Nice. Over halfway. We go for five, four, three, two, relax, shake it out. Traveling mountain climbers and we're gonna catch ourselves a break. Three, two, one. If you're getting tired of the moving, just do stationary mountain climbers or catch that break. Good job. 20 on the clock. Almost done with round two. Hang on, four, five, four, three, two. Nice, catch that breath. How's everybody's shoulders feeling? Burning. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing great though, two down, one to go. Grab that water, shake those arms up. Jessica saw the workout and said, ah, might be a little bit too much. I'm gonna go I was good. like, convenient day for you. <laughs> oh man, I'm ready, guys. Day. We're gonna fly through third round, catch breaks when you need it. We got 10 seconds and we're just gonna run through round three. We have those low scissor hops. Try to get on the balls of your feet, heels off the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. Chops. Get the arms pumping too. Arms pumping. Drop the hips a little bit. Quick arms, quick feet. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, woo! Excellent. Oh my gosh. We have that hinge to combo. Three, two, one, let's rock. Row, rotate, up, repeat. When you're hip hinging, make sure your mechanics are right. You're staying square. If you, especially if you're doing that single leg. And you're squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the back and the traps. We got 15 seconds on this one. Five, four, three, two, boom. Go ahead, pop onto the ground, and we've got plank reaches. Three, two, let's do it. Let's 
slow and controlled, using your core to stay where you want to keep your body. Good job. Breathe, guys, 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, boom. Shake it out. We just have a couple more exercises. I know we're running over by a minute. Let's finish out these last couple. We're doing lateral hops into that shrimp squat. Three, two, hit it. Fifteen. This is almost the end of the legs. We go for five, four, three, two, to the ground, and we'll finish it out on the ground. We have those half planks to the half push-up. Remember, try to lean that body weight onto that weak side, and you're pressing from the plank. Let's do it. Three, two, one, switch sides. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. We have that bird dog crunch, and then one more after that, and we're done for the class. Make sure you're extending through the heel, reaching as far as you can while you're staying square. That's the key. Three, two, one, let's do it. Squeeze and hold on that crunch for one second and repeat. Nice, y'all. Ten seconds on the bird dog. Come on. Three, two, excellent. We're going to finish out the class with those traveling mountain climbers. Probably the hardest one. Give it your best, but be safe. Three, two, let's do it. Almost done, y'all, halfway. Good job. Keep the work. Give me 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Whew, catch your breath. Oh man, that was tough. Actually done. Woo! That was a good one. Real heavy on the, the plank. Yeah, heavy on the core and shoulders. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. It's really good, though.